timed and in place. Marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Marking an enemy. Marking a captain. I'm moving to position. I need to get to a better position. Target acquired. Standing by. Hey, we got an arco with a submachine gun. There, by the container. Got eyes on the captain. That brings us to ten. Target marked. Keep an eye on your background. We got a tango with multiple civilians around. I'm getting a position. Let me find a good position. Hold up. Let me get a good sight line. Target marked. Roger. Target acquired. Say the word, boss. That tank goes down. We got a chopper coming in. Demo's primed and in place. I got the C4 primed. Come about. Demo's primed and in place. C4 Prime.
todas las unidades. Prepárense para el combate. Good to go. Signals all bad. They're jamming the drone. Patrol headed our way. You're gonna get made. Hang back. Hang on. I'll drive. forces of Bolivia. After blogger Ramon Feliz revealed the true evil nature of the cartel sent him... Where's the last of the oil rigs? Let's light it up. ...forces pursued and captured the man at the head of that cult, El Cardenal. This corrupt false clergyman showed no... Enemy marked. Eyes on two Unidad soldiers by the camp entrance. Deploying drone. The drones are fucked up. They're jamming us. Siguen por aquí los americanos. No hay ningún contacto en la última posición conocida del enemigo. Comenzando búsqueda ahora. Only dead chopper, stay low.
I got the C4 primed. Devil's primed. Put a call to the rebels for some reinforcements. Chopper incoming. Demo's primed and in place. Copter, get down. I got the C4 primed. The truck's getting away. Demo's primed. B.A.B. gas refinery chief. Let's see if this will convince him to stop working with the cartel. Enemy reinforcements incoming. We're settling down. I think we backed off. Dead bird on patrol. Watch out. Go away, gringos. I've already told you the answer is no. Things have changed. Santa Blanca promised they'd keep your rig safe. They failed. The deal is null and void. If I stop supplying the cartel, they'll shut me down. And if you keep importing precursors for Santa Blanca, I'll blow up every goddamn Via B gas rig you've got left. 
Take your pick. What kind of fucking choice is that? You're no better than El Puto Cartel, you know that? This isn't about me. It's about you doing the right thing. The right thing? Don't make me laugh. Guess I don't really have a choice, though, huh? When the cartel sends Sicarius to kill me, he will be on your head. I can live with that. We've ID'd the Buchon as an American national named Marcus Jensen. He's heading to a meeting Buckle at up, the people. witch market. Go find Jensen and bring him to me. There's got to be some intel we can dig up around here. Entering the witch market. El Mercado de las Brujas. This is where the locals come to buy good luck charms or luck potions or even a curse for their enemies. No shit. Eyes up. If the intel is correct, Jensen could be here somewhere. What in the hell is a guy like Jensen looking for in a place like this? Whatever it is, it ain't good. Trust me. The drone is up. Unidad bird on patrol. Watch out. Eyes on Jensen. Take him alive. <sighs> hands. Show me your hands. Do it now. Goddamn fascists. You've got no right. I'm an American citizen. Stay where you are and put your hands on your head. Don't make me tell you again. Yeah? Or what? Hey, Shit, the Jensen's down. getting away. The lieutenant's escaping.
good to go. That came from near the hacienda. Shit balls. Chopper, hit the driver. Get the fuck down. Contact, Tango at the dump. Take cover. Get down. Down, get down, Chopper. Chopper, down, down. Copter, get down. Unidad troops are moving in. That came from near the Hacienda. Here we go. Unidad's firing on the cartel. Sniper's got us targeted. Get your goddamn hands off me! You try that shit again and I'll put a bullet in both your legs. You read me? Now shut up and move. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. This is bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. This is 
bullshit. You can't just arrest somebody for going to a fucking market. Save it, Jensen. We know all about you and the cartel. What I don't get is this. You're a scientist, right? So what the hell were you doing at a place like the witch market? Processing cocaine isn't just about solvents and reagents. Not the way I do it, at least. I get powders from the brujos that speed the process along and make the result more potent. Yeah? Like what? Like, fuck you. That's proprietary information. You want my secret recipe, you gotta pay for it. I'm a scientist. <sighs> jurisdiction here. I mean, even if you did, I'm a U.S. citizen here on a legitimate work visa. You're facilitating the manufacture of an illegal substance. An illegal substance that provides income for a gang of rapists and murderers. Not my problem. I'm not holding a gun to someone's head. I'm not making anyone take any drugs. People make their own choices. That's what individual liberty is all about. Fair enough. Take this fuck outside and shoot him in the head. Wait! What the hell? You're right, Marcus. We don't have legal jurisdiction in Bolivia. So I'm gonna exercise my individual liberty and ask my associate here to blow your goddamn brains out. Wait, wait! You got something to say? Look, can we... Can we make some sort of a deal here? Sure we can. You tell me what I want to know and I won't put a bullet in your sociopathic skull. Fuck! Fine! Fine! I'll tell you what you want to know. That's all I'm asking. Bowman, excellent work in Libertad. Stopping Jensen has halted training in the province, and losing the supply of precursor chemicals from Via V gas has crippled production. This will cost the cartel millions in lost product every day, which is gonna hit them where it hurts. Copy that. Thanks for the good word. We're displacing to the next AO now. Desperate people make desperate mistakes. And I had made El Yayo and La Gringa desperate. I pressured them too much. But I had no choice. The attacks on our production were increasing. It was hurting our supply chain. If something was not done, we would lose our market share. So I pushed them to produce more coke. They couldn't do it. So they started to cut it, dilute it, lower the quality to increase the quantity. An understandable mistake. But a mistake nevertheless. I had spent years branding Santa Blanca. A quality product. The best in the world. A primo price for a primo product. Problem was, the product wasn't primo anymore. And someone had to pay for that. I had told El Yayo and La Gringa to step up production. They claimed they were doing their best. Obviously, I had not been clear enough. This man's life was in your hands, and this is what you've done with it. I can't do this anymore. Please. Just let me go home. 
I swear to God, I won't tell anyone what happened here. Sometimes I don't think you take me seriously. Next time I will show you how serious I can be. The Santa Blanca cocaine production pipeline, led by El Yayo. It all starts in the fields with the harvesting of the Erythroxlum novogranitens, aka the coca plant. Of the 200 known species of Erythroxlum, only two contain usable levels of cocaine, so you have to know what you're planting. El Yayo knows what he's planting. First, his people strip the leaves off the plant. Then the leaves are dried, finely chopped, and sent to the lab. That's where this chick comes in. The gringa here is an American chemist with Mensa level IQ and sub-zero morality numbers. They take the chopped leaves, dust them with lime, that's right, lime, then pour diesel fuel all over them. Stir for three days. You can use a washing machine or a cement mixer, but Santa Blanca does it by hand. Then they mix all this shit with sulfuric acid, a dash of caustic soda, and bam, cocaine paste. You dry it, chuck in more acid, and pretty soon you got powder. But now you have to purify it because no one wants to snort yellow powder. It's gross. So, a little more acid, some potassium permanganate, pyrolusite, hungry yet? Filter it with ammonia and beautiful, pure white cocaine. But everyone knows how to do this, right? What makes Santa Blanca so special? What makes SB a brand? Because they figured it out. How to mass produce a custom product. Plant genetics, logistics, mechanization, state-of-the-art labs, reduction of redundancies, quality control, purity of chemicals, and of course, the secret sauce. They're geniuses. They've taken coke production into the 22nd century. What Henry Ford did for the factory, they've done for the lab. They're innovators, they're pioneers, they're SB. Yayo was born amidst the Bolivian coca. His mother carried him on her back until he was old enough to go to work for himself. For decades, Yayo picked the leaves, fingers blistered, back aching, feet bleeding. But never in all that time did he once extract the alkaloids to make cocaine. To Yayo, the coca leaf was an ancient tradition, going back 8,000 years, a medicine a culture, una planta sagrada. Of course, the Americanos had a different opinion. They called it Plan Dignidad, the Dignity Plan. Although Yayo was no more than a farmer, un cocalero, his world was left in ruins. With no other means available, he was forced to do the one thing that he vowed never to do. He was forced to produce cocaine. In the end, the Americans' efforts to stop cocaine production created one of the greatest cocaine producers to ever live.